in just the last two days, it's become significantly easier to build full stack web applications simply through AI and prompting. Yesterday, Lovable announced their new Lovable Cloud and AI, which they are marking as a new chapter for Vibe Coding. And what is significant about this release is that you can now uh, build out the back end of your app within Lovable. And by within Lovable, I don't mean connecting Lovable to uh, a backend platform like Superbase, where you have this integration as they've had almost till now. In this case, it's actually the back end embedded into Lovable to where, whether it's authentication, whether it's uh, payments, whether it's the database, all of that is baked into the platform itself. And so this now makes it way easier to get to that 100% done mark. We all know if you're a vibe coder, especially if you are on the more non-technical side, when you get to that 70-ish percent of your app uh, completion, that last 20 to 30% can be very difficult. And a feature like this makes it uh, a lot easier to, to get all the way to production. Now, they didn't just release this Lovable Cloud, which is what I, I just mentioned, but they actually also launched uh, Lovable AI, which is a native embedding of AI features. So you can now integrate chat, you can now integrate image models within Lovable uh, without having to connect the APIs yourself. And so this is a whole process of now abstracting out what you traditionally would do in order to build applications. So now if you're someone who is looking to build an app, you can literally just come in and prompt for it. Uh, is it perfect? I don't know. In this video, I want to take a, a look at it and see how uh, much the reality and this in practice lines up with the marketing of it. But either way, it's uh, a real indication of where this space is going. And the fact that I believe building apps is going to be like creating content, not that far in the future. By the way, if you would like to join a community of people who are learning to build apps with AI and are working on their MVPs and taking ideas to a uh, product and then starting to market and monetize them, then you could join the Vibe Code Pioneers. The link for that is in the description. We just started it, so you'd be getting in on the ground floor. This is an opportunity right now to uh, really capitalize on this moment in time where it's not only significantly easier to build these products, but also, first of all, not that many people are doing it yet. And it's at that kind of place where not that many people are even really are fully aware of what's possible, but at the same time, the tools and the resources and the infrastructure is being created in real time for you to to uh, thrive in um, what you're working on. So you can take a look at that if you're interested. But in this video, I actually want to go ahead and, and build something out and test out this new lovable cloud and AI um, up until October 5th. It's free to use the Google model with this. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I want to, I've been seeing this trend going on um, social media right now where people are, um, back even Google for it, uh, pictures with, so you take a picture like this, for example, this is obviously, uh, well, not obviously, but this is an AI pic and it's a pic of Chris Brown um, with his arms around this uh, young lady right here. And this is like a, something that's super trendy right now where I'm seeing all these uh, people who are creating um, images with them um, having a celebrity like with their arms around them or you know vice versa um and i'm also seeing a lot of people in the comments asking like how could i do that myself you know what i mean so i wanted to actually do an app where it'll be like uh take a picture with your favorite celebrity um image generator type app and we're going to see how quickly we can actually do this so with what i'm observing here uh just from like lovable cloud and ai this is something that we may be able to do in very few prompts so i've been watching this phenomenon on social media lately where uh people are uh finding ways to take this uh sort of or, or create these ai generated um 
pictures with them um, having their arms around a celebrity or this or a celebrity having um, their arms around them or just like them taking a picture with you know their favorite celebrities um, namely Chris Brown and Usher and you know I saw one with like 50 cent um, I want to create an image generator that'll make it easy for people who want to do this and like post it on social media. So it'll be a type of thing where uh, you upload a picture of yourself or the uh, person you want the uh, picture to sort of uh, be like the, you know, the, the individual or the protagonist in, in the uh, image and then uh, this, uh, upload an image of the celebrity. And then it'll basically create like an intimate kind of moment where it's like either your either hands are around each other, um, you know, maybe you're kind of dapping each other up, um, but like uh, an image that kind of um, indicates that you have a level of closeness with the person. So I want to um, create an image generator app that makes it easy to to do. It should use um, the Nano Banana uh, image generator image generator uh, with Google Gemini, I believe it's Gemini 2.5, a flash image. And um, and would like to have a database that will store those images and um, and make it easy for people to log in and log uh, out, create an account, and then be able to log in and log out of the application. So we're just going to go ahead and put that prompt, uh, prompt in for it. Let's see what it um let's see what it comes up with. So you see down here for users on AI powered apps until October 6th. So they have this promotion going on right now. Um if I were to click on here, you can see more about that. Lovable AI. It's powered by default, powered by Google Gemini. It's by default powered by Google Gemini and free for one week for all users. Um so it's something to uh, if you haven't tried yet, definitely to uh take a look at. Um all right, so it says here I'll create a stunning AI image generator app where users can create intimate celebrity photos. It evokes apps like Mid journey and Dali, but with a social media twist, fun, shareable, and personal. Um, all right, so we see here, let me start by enabling lovable cloud for authentication database and AI features, then build the app. It's going to be important that it uses the Gemini API, however, though. Um, but yes, we can allow this. Right, now, now let me enable lovable AI for the image generation capabilities. Add AI to your app, chat image generation, and text analysis, Google models free. Um, let's just even read more. What? Does it say what models? Okay, so AI summaries, chat bot or agent, sentiment detection, document um, Q&A, creative generation, multilingual, task completion, image and document analysis, workflow, automation. Um, and then the default model is Gemini 2.5 Flash, um, which is which is Nano Banana, I believe. So uh, so you got a Gemini 2.5 Flash image, and that's what we're looking for. And that's, and that's perfect. All right, so come back here. Set up the database, excellent database is set up. Now let me create the stunning app with a vibrant design system and all co components. So, so far we're still within just one prompt and um, just off of that initial um, dictation that we provided to the application and it's um, it's currently working on it in the back end. You can click on here, you have lovable cloud. You can see the files, the code files. I'm gonna come back here to the preview. So if I click here, show everything that's being built and created and so far, it's still just in this in this one prompt. We're gonna we're gonna see what it follows up with next to ask me. Create magical moments. All right, so there we have it. All right, so let's see, sign up. All right, so let's say click get started. The authentication seems to be added, but does it actually work? So let's see. Let me type in my name and, and try to actually sign up. Account created. Does it send me um, some sort of like email notification or how does that work? Well, I guess it sign, sign me right in. Um, okay, if I log out, let's say like I wanted to sign in now. Let's, let me use like a different email address and then try to sign in and see what happens. So that doesn't work, but then let me use the email address I actually created. Yeah, so it created a new account. Um, and then I'm kind of curious about what's going on on that 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 you know, back end though. Okay. So you have this cloud section now database. So you can see the profile. So we have the profile of like that email we signed in on. So this kind of looks like how 
um, but a more simplified version of what you would see on a super base, right? And then it shows, okay, that generated images for like when you've actually done the images, users, authentication settings, how users are able to sign into your app. So you can sign in via email, phone, uh, Google, um, and you can set the parameters of it. And then you have the storage for where content will appear, edge functions um, that you can use for whether it's working with AI or other kinds of um, you know actions you want to happen, secrets tab for API keys that get added, um, the logs for uh, um, what's being called, APIs are being called, and just actions that are happening. And so, um, yeah, so that's the lovable cloud for you right there. All right. And then, uh, okay, analytics. I don't know if that was, that was there previously. Security. I don't believe that was there either. So this is all, I see it's all new. Um, then you have speed, way of being able to look at the, the speed, the, the, uh, the speed of your page. All right. So, Let's try this. Create your celebrity photo. Upload your photo and a celebrity's photo to create an amazing moment together. So I've taken two uh, photos. I found um, these two photos of um, just like a super random person. This was from Shutterstock, so it's a stock photo, but just like a person. And then I have a photo of Chris Brown here. Um, and so we're going to. So you got to upload it. So I got to probably put this on my desktop. Hold on. All right. So photo of you know it's a screenshot, right? New new screenshot. All right, and photo of the celebrity. I think I gotta put that on the desktop too. All right, and then let's see if this this works. Uh, generate photo. And if this works. That means we literally just one prompted our the whole app because it has the built in authentication. Wow! Look! Wow! Look at that. In one, in one prompt, in one prompt, we were literally able to build this app, and we're not talking about a a, a, a pseudo demo app. Now, this is an app that has that you can actually log in and log out of. That has storage baked into it, and look how realistic this picture is. Right, Th these were the two photos we used here of um, this super rando person, and then we have the celebrity photo right here, with Chris Brown. Um, and this person all done literally in one prompt with lovable. And so, I mean, there you, there you have it. You click on gallery here. You can see this is the photo. Um, and then, um, we have the, you know, the generate area, but, um, we have the, the gallery, you know, you could download this photo and then now use it however you will. Um, and again, you can log in, log out. So I am going to, it's called the star snap, which the AI came up with that name. So I'm going to go ahead now and just publish this. Um, you can add a custom domain to it if you choose, and then it takes care of security. You can even review security. Okay. Leak password protection disabled. This was, um, I guess what they added or what they did when they were building it, but you can add that uh, security review and, and role level security. Um, yes, let's go ahead and publish this. And so for those of you folks out here who've been wondering how people are, are doing these images, um, which they're using Google's AI studio typically. Um, but this now makes it way easier if you are uh, a stand of one of these these artists. You know, I, I know I know some of y'all trying to take these Usher pictures because you weren't at the Usher concert. So, you know, there you have it. Um, yeah. So this was lovable cloud and AI. Um, wow. In one prompt, we just we just one prompted this whole um, application and um, including the AI component, including the storage, including the authentication. So just. I can only imagine what's to come over the next few, you know, few months and, and where the space is going overall. Um, try it out. There you have it. Lovable AI and cloud.